Leo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. Hello, Gary. <laughs> Notice you there, I just saw you moving in the background. Anyway, Leo, your word of the day, I've been meditating on it, is, I've kind of forgotten now. <laughs> Affection. No, I haven't forgotten, don't worry. Affection. The door's open. I wouldn't leave him outside like that. He likes to come in through the window. He's, he's, he's particular now. But it's not this one, it's the kitchen window. The door's not good enough. He could just literally walk through the door, but no. Like a cat, he's like, nah, I wouldn't exactly want to come through the window. I just let him in in the last video I was doing. The door's still open. He's gone straight back out and, and done a circle and come back around. <laughs> That's why I was like, I thought you were in. <laughs> anyway, Leo, affection. Bear in mind, well, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. That's the only legitimate way of booking a private reading with me is if you come to my website, gentvtara.com. This in the link in the description box below to it. If I try and come to you any other way, other than you coming to me. If I try and come to you, that's not me. That's somebody trying to scam me. Leo, affection. Thank you, love. Oh, good fun. Don't go. It's nice. Stay here. Who keeps? Watch. He'll come in on his own because the door's open. And he'll be showing you his butt in about five minutes' time. I sort of kind of feel mm, this. Uh, there's a source of, of I can't get my words out until I've got them all out. <laughs> I can't multitask. It feels like there's a source of. It's like your love has been placed somewhere on, upon somebody. They are the source of where you want to put your affection and your love. <laughs> but it's not real, is it? It's like a fantasy. It's like an infatuation, a crush that has no No standing in reality, really. That's that's kind of what you're thinking, right? I, I'm hearing you sort of say I have no right to wish that somebody like that could want to be with somebody like me. Why would they? Is this the mindset? I mean, you adore this person, though. Tell me more. Why is the High Priestess in reverse here? This is what you need to know right now. This is your, like your innermost feelings. You feel like you could be with this person. You feel like almost like they're the answer to it all. The loneliness. But you also feel like psst, crazy. It's in my head. I don't feel the same way. It sort of looks like you've told this person how you feel. 
so they're attainable enough to be able to speak to them it's not like this person's a movie star and you can't talk to them like they're completely out of reach this person's attainable enough to be able to say this is how I feel about you but I feel like you didn't quite get in return what you put out there I think I just got a naughty message from someone <laughs> it just came out and went I was like, so, did I just see a, a, a naughty word I'm not going to tell you what because I'm a lady Pretty naughty though. Why is this knight of swords here? <sighs> yeah, it would seem like you didn't get back what you put out here. You sort of told this person how you felt and I think that they gave you a little bit, like a little bit of encouragement, but then went to someone else. It's like they, the wheel of fortune here, look, there's you falling off the wheel. That's them with someone else. It's like they, they gave you a little bit. It's like some encouragement. Like, imagine, like, you're, I am in love with you, I think about you night and day, I can't get you out of my head, I want you, I love you, that's you, and then they're like, well, let's see what happens then. But that's it. They don't say I feel the same way. It's like a, just a, a crumb. Well, then let's see what happens, but then they don't choose you, they go with someone else. You're like... Well, my heart must leave there and it's always like they, well, all that they give back is like a sort of sexy you know, mm, let's wait and see what happens just to like sort of keep that door open just in case it doesn't work out with this other one but they're like I'm having a great time on the wheel of fortune with this person wheels turning mate that's not a good ride all the way anything else they only need to know right now Yeah, you, it, it didn't work out. The Five of Cups, yeah, it didn't work out. Stop thinking about that though. Look, there's two cups behind you, so there's, there's something to look forward to. Why is the Empress here and what you need to be aware of moving forwards? What's coming up for you? Freeing yourself from this, moving forwards, letting this go, finding happiness. Yeah, this wasn't the person for you. I felt like it was. Feels like you kind of put this person a little bit on a pedestal that they didn't deserve to be on. It's just sort of like a, a bit of a running theme. I think Aries. I think Aries reading kind of had that in it as well. Best you can hope for the full reverse. Look before you leap. I feel like you're going to be very communicative with this person still. You're going to keep telling this person how you feel. Um and they're not going to be giving anything back that's the best you can hope for is that if you keep doing that if you keep telling this person how you feel if you keep saying to them i love you i miss you you're the one i'm thinking about i want to be with you 
well, and let's see what'll happen. It's like, if that's all that you get back, that's, that is all you're going to get back. Because that's this is you communicating, a, a giving, a giving, a giving, and and the, you're not you breadcrumbs, literally breadcrumbs is all you're receiving back. Unless you let it go, free yourself from this. Unless you let it go, then you can be happy. Then, justice in reverse. It's not fair. What? So fair, I gave you breadcrumb and you didn't wait for me. Sorry, how, how long are you supposed to wait? Years? How, how long was this person expecting you to wait for them to make their minds up? don't get it no but but I love you I I wanted you I, I I kept telling you how I felt no you kept saying well let's see what will happen that's that's not really solid waiting around for your material but I don't want you to move forwards without me and be happy without me wait for. What do you want me to wait for? But it's not fair. I was I gave you breadcrumbs. You need a little bit more than breadcrumbs. What's this outcome here? I want to read this outcome, then I'm gonna ask about this person. How do they feel about you, really? Where are you in their heart space, really? What are their intentions towards you? No messing around now. What the heck are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But let's have a look. Why is the page of pentacles in reverse for the outcome? Blooming it. They think you're going to wait forever. Oh, I just took my half the ball for a second and they were going off with somebody else. If you don't feed a relationship and work on it, then it's going to go away and die, isn't it? And I think that that's what they're expecting from you is that oh, you just wait here while I go and have fun over here. You just wait there. There's a whole party of fun going on around you, but you just wait in this corner. If anyone asks you to dance, you say no. But I'm going over there with all those cool people and having fun over there with them. You should wait there. That's basically what they're saying to you. No. Surrender to the divine. When you get affection and love from this person, it feels like... And that's one of the reasons why you're kind of willing to wait. Because... You're not really getting it anywhere else and you want it and this is the only source of it <laughs> you know surrender to the divine so don't be waiting around for this person to come back and make their big grand gesture that they're never gonna make live surrender to the divine let life happen see what joyous wonderful things will come your way don't fight it don't fight against the tides just swim with it mate and your love lyric is double life by the cars your back seat rumble took your front seat why it takes a fast car lady to lead a double life don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to watch the extended video. Take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find me there. Bye!